Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio. Let's take a look at the person on your mind. False promises. You were the best thing in my life. We have selfish. At the bottom of the deck, you have chasing. Some of you guys are refusing to chase a person or tired of chasing a person here. It's like, no, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to reach out. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to chase you. You know, that's kind of the energy I feel. You feel like somebody has made a lot of false promises. You feel like somebody has been very selfish in this connection. And I feel that there was a time where this person brought a lot of happiness into your life with this. You were the best thing in my life. I feel like this person, you know, has been a support at, you know, different points in your life has made you happy, but I feel like you're seeing now where they're causing you more pain than they are support and more pain than they are pleasure and joy and happiness. So we're going to see what's going on here. We're going to look at their energy towards you the potential outcome and the challenge between the two of you. You have the full card. The three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles for their energy. The challenge between the two of you is the king of cups and the potential outcome is the eight of cups. So I feel like there could have been a period of time where you had wanted a new beginning with this person. But like I said, I feel like there is something that is really shifting in your energy here, Scorpio, where you're no longer feeling the same way that you did or seeing this person in the same way. You know, you're seeing there's just been a lot of false promises and you always end up hurt here. So this person, full card energy, they could be wanting to move back towards you here with this energy. Okay, with that full card wanting a new beginning, yeah, Ace of Swords, there could be some kind of communication coming in towards you here. Their intention, Three of Pentacles. So they could want to, you know, try to see if you guys can start something back up again. That's what that feels like to me. The Three of Pentacles can be a starting point. Um, and it talks about, like, trying to get along and get on the same page. I do feel like here somebody could be communicating with you. Saying that, they, especially if you guys live at a distance, they could be saying that they're ready to come and see you, or hey, let me come see you, let me came, let me come over, let's talk, something like that here, and they could just be sending you a message. But they are wanting to kind of start things back up here. Queen of Pentacles for their action. I do feel that um, they could be very focused on other things in their life, their home, their work, uh, their business. For some of you guys, for their career. And they are saying, you know, hey, let's start things back up. I am ready to make some time for this. I am ready to put some work into this now. The challenge here between the two is the King of Cups, which is interesting because I feel like it's a challenge for you, Scorpio, because you it's the love that you have for this person. You do really, really love this person. And it's hard for you to... Um, you know, to turn away or to say no or to not let them back in. Because you can see the potential outcome here is the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is your energy, like walking away here, Scorpio. And it, it's a challenge because you do really love this person. I feel like this person really ha has love for you as well. But, you know, they're selfish here. They're focused on themselves and what they want. And I feel like they want to come in and out of your life as it suits them. And you've heard a lot of promises from them in the past. And I feel like it's like, no, I can no longer, I can't settle. And I can't listen to these promises. I have to do what's best for me now. And that's where I see you at. So this person, Scorpio, would not surprise me if you um, hear from this person soon. If they want to kind of come back in your life, start things back up. And it isn't necessarily easy for you to walk away. But I do see that that's what you're heading towards here okay but i would expect communication i would i would expect some kind of communication here somebody wanting to kind of re-enter your life but that is what i have for you scorpio if this resonates let me know if it doesn't check out your other placements everything that you'll need to know whether it is about this reading scheduling your personals patreon the tarot course all of that is in the description box below for you 
And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.